Hi, I'm Courtney Peters, and welcome to Into the Spectrum. <laughs> Are you not getting enough sleep because your child isn't getting enough sleep? When this happens, it affects the whole family. Um, everybody is not getting enough sleep. When also this happens, your child isn't getting that quality sleep and they can't learn the next day. So how are they supposed to be able to learn new skills when they're not getting that quality sleep? Also, it actually is difficult to change somebody's sleep habits. Let's think about you. When you try to switch, switching sides um, of your bed or when you have to sleep in a hotel and you have like this bumpy bed, do you get good sleep? Or if you have to start a new job and you have to wake up earlier, um, a lot of times that's hard and you're not getting that good quality sleep that you need when you're changing those routines. So when we're changing the routine of their sleep schedule, it actually can be difficult. So in this episode, I'm going to give you five tips in order to help your child with autism have that restful night's sleep and so you can get some sleep as well. So tip number one is to create a bedtime routine. And what you're going to do is do the same thing every night. And this could include going to take a bath, getting your PJs on, brushing your teeth, reading a book. Those could be examples of your nighttime routine. And if something is anxiety provoking, like brushing teeth, if that is hard for your child, I would do that earlier in the night. Don't save it for that nighttime routine because that's too much energy right at that time. So I would also tell you to turn off that TV and turn off the devices or those rev up activities. Stop those earlier in the night. So you want those calming activities right before bedtime. And what you're gonna do is really make sure that's consistent. So do that same thing every night. Tip number two, sleeping in your own bed. So your kids should be sleeping in their own bed, not in your bed or the couch or different areas, different times each time. They should always be in their designated sleeping area. And this includes naps. So when they're taking their nap, they should be in their own bed. This can get confusing for them if they're sleeping in different places. So they might not know where am I sleeping. So I know it's simple, but they should be sleeping in their own bed. Tip number three, Find that appropriate bedtime. So I'm gonna ask you a question. When are they going to bed? When are they actually sleeping and they're really tired? I would actually start there. So if they're actually sleeping at 10 at night, that's when I would start to put them to bed. So you can start that nighttime routine maybe around 9.30 and have them going to bed at 10. I know that seems a little bit ridiculous because you want them to be going to bed earlier at their time, um, which could be around eight, and you're putting them to bed two hours later. So it seems pretty silly, but creating that nighttime routine and having success with them falling asleep when you're telling them to fall asleep is very valuable. And then what you're gonna do is start moving that time up. So once they're successful at that time, you're gonna start moving that bedtime up. So then you can start getting them to bed at 9.45, 9.30, nine, you know, then nine o'clock, and then so on and so forth. And you start moving that time up. So you see what's going on. You're moving that up as they're becoming successful. Some other tips that go along with that is how long are they taking their naps for? So can you narrow that nap or even take away the naps? I mean, depending on how old they are, um, could be appropriate or not. Um, they might need that nap still. Um, also, what time are they waking up? So are they waking up, um, sleeping in too much? So maybe you can wake them up a little bit earlier. Um, so there is tip number three, is creating that really good bedtime. One of the biggest problems is waking up in the middle of the night and not being able to go back to sleep. So tip number four is to find a soothing object. And this object should be something that's associated with sleep. So it could be a soft blanket or it could be a stuffed animal or a pacifier. Those could be objects that they can use to help soothe them to get them back to bed. And you could in the room have some other soothing things like a white noisemaker or a hum of a fan or a nightlight. Those could be possibilities that can help soothe them when they wake up at night. But what you don't want in there are you don't want toys or a bright light 
or the TV going, um, or a food or drink items. Um, so those are things that you don't want. So tip number four is finding that calming item that they can use to help them go back to sleep. Last tip, tip number five, stay in bed. So your child should be staying in bed for the entire night. A lot of times this is not happening. They're getting up, they're getting out of bed, and what I'm gonna have you do is when you're getting them back to bed, I want you to have a p -p -p poker face and use as little attention as possible and really guide them back to bed. So even if they're getting up 500 times a night, you're guiding them back to bed 500 times a night. And this could include you actually sitting outside their door, maybe having headphones on, listening to a book, um, listening to some music, but that's what it might require to get them back to bed. So when you're placing them back to bed, giving as little or no attention as possible and really trying to touch them as little as possible. So you're really giving them that gentle guidance or even a gesture to go back to bed. So they're really learning to get into that routine and this is where they sleep and they're sleeping for the entire night. All right, if you have any other helpful tips that you have used, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that likes button, um, thumbs up button down at the bottom. If you enjoyed this video, um, subscribe. And also there's a liked video for you over here based on your previous watches. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye everybody.